Dearest listener, can you tell the difference between dream and reality? Well, shoot, I hope so, otherwise you're gonna need a doctor. But, in this instance, dream and alternative realities are on a collision course at high and reckless speeds. There is a place that is somewhere and yet nowhere waiting for you once your eyes close and you drift off, pulled lovingly by the riptide of sleep. Where is this nowhere? Well, that much doesn't matter. What truly matters is who is waiting for you on the other side. Despite smug countenance, hoping you'll come back once again. And you do. Now, little dreamer, Succumb to slumber and find peace in places unknown. And now for the weather. The wind is violent and the rain jealously hammers the soil. Flooding is imminent, but that won't bother you. The high for today is 3,500 Kelvin and the low is negative 3,500 Kelvin. Coming up on Nightmare Public Broadcasting. Ghostly Recipes with Sabuna Nippip. Everyone has heard of fairy wine by now, and some people have heard of ghost wine, but phantasmic tea has yet to be mentioned. This elusive drink has only ever been found on the other side of dreams, and thus is considered a delicacy. It is such a delicacy that it can only be served in an intricate ceremony. And the entity must be in love with their patron. Where the tea leaves are from remains a mystery. But the flavor of phantasmic tea is said to be an exact replica of an old grandmama's banana pudding recipe. Or if you're not into that, some reports say it tastes like biscuits and gravy. Others report that it tastes like birthday cake. But whatever it tastes like, it will quickly become your favorite thing in the whole wide universe. And any alternative universe is springing from it. You know, you have a lot of nerve coming back over here after what you did. Oh? Don't act so confused. Damn near every night you come into this tea house. You drink us dry, you eat all of our little snacks, you take all of my attention away from potential customers and their tips, and then you leave without paying. Yes, you leave without paying at all. I ought to just kick you out back into the street as we speak. But there are giant owls outside and they are definitely on the hunt. Would I burn in hell for closing the door in your face? Yes, so here we are. I will not be serving you any tea this time. I'm not gonna be giving you any food. I'm not even going to be giving you any attention. Instead, you can just sit in that waiting chair right over there next to the window and you can watch people go by. What do you mean you didn't pay? Of course you didn't pay. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to tell me you really think that thing that you gave me has any kind of value? It's material so strange, I don't even know how to explain it. Is it glass? Is it clay? Is it paper? No. It doesn't shatter when it falls on the ground, it's lightweight. And the local appraiser couldn't figure out what it was or what it's used for and assured me it was a cursed talisman. Naturally, I had to throw it in the fire. I personally do not play with cursed talismans. Now just sit down and keep out of my hair. The giant owls will probably be gone at daybreak. You know, when the giant eyeball in the sky finally closes its lids and the sun comes up. Uh, I know that this tea house is completely empty except for you and I and that fat cat right there. 
But I don't work for free. And I've been performing those ceremonies for free. And do you know how high rent is? Yeah, we're alone. Why are you acting freaked out? Do you... Do you need some water or something? I can get you water. That is free. After all, it's a spiritual right to have water. And yeah, you won't give me a tip or anything, but... I wouldn't want to leave you dehydrated or anything. That's one of the worst feelings in the world. So yes to water? No to water. Maybe to water. Whatever, I'm just going to get you some water anyway, and whether or not you drink it, it doesn't matter to me. God. Alright. There's your water. I'll just drink up. Don't bother me. At least until you have some kind of currency. No, I'm not being a snob. We don't take whatever that strange currency is here. You know, if it really is so problematic, then why don't you just take it up with your, what did you call it, uh, Lord Massacar? Or, or maybe uh, uh, Chieftain Visa, or whatever it is. And when they could back your currency with some kind of real value, like incense sticks or Twizzlers or something, then I can't help you, okay? We, we run a business here, not a charity, you understand. I mean, like, if I could give you tea, I, I might. And if I could bring you some nice little confectionaries, I wouldn't mind. But that's just not how ghostly capitalism works. Do you, do you need some more water, by the way? Okay, well, I'm gonna get you water, but once again, it means nothing. Alright, here. Take it. Just, just take it. Yes, that... That is a little pastry, but we were about to throw it out anyway, and I mean, you are just sitting here looking like you're wasting away. And I'm sure you'd leave a bad review or something, and God knows business is already not great. And, you know, should you ever get money and come back, I would hope that you might come back to this tea house. No, I'm not just saying that because my boss, the fat cat, is over my shoulder right now. You're the one making assumptions. Uh, I'm the one who got cheated out of, you know, proper pay. A decent tip for, you know, six hours of time. You could have at least left like 20% or something. So just eat your trash food and drink your water and think nothing of it. Who? What? What? What are those voices? What voices? Oh, you need to get your ears checked. Or maybe your spirit or something. Uh, hold on, I'm being called into the back. Shh. Don't say anything. Yeah, that's a mug of fantastic tea. Look. You're hallucinating and you're hearing things, so it's probably best that you at least have some. After all, phantasmic tea has been known to heal the spirit, set your mind straight, that sort of thing. But once again, I'm doing this because I'm a good person. It has nothing to do with anything. Anything at all. Now just... Just be grateful and and come back with some proper money next time. Those tea ceremonies are good for business after all, and this is a a business, not a charity. Now, stop looking at me like that before I throw you out with those giant owls. God, God 
Dang it! These presumptuous people, I swear. Coming in, looking all cute, smiling at me like that. Ugh. Hey y'all, it's Marsha O'Hare with Nightmare Public Broadcasting. Here to ask, what the hell were those ghosts in the background talking about anyway? Well, you'll probably never figure it out, but hey, neither will I. The patron saints of paying off my phone bill are... Zemo, Rocco, the Lagos Metzler, Ayyapyapa, Yokothul, Pingli, Cherry was script, Man of Many Bees, Matt Weston, Sam Myers, Jackson Daniel 42, Pempster Mogus, and Brian Adamson. Now... Imagine, if you will, the world is dark, my pockets are empty, and there is a light in the distance. That light is the twilight, I mean, patreon.com slash belladonna ASMR, where you can get comics, exclusive art, audios with no ads, hell yes, all while supporting me, the puppies, and the content you love. Now, y'all stay safe out there for me. Bye! Was that good, Pippin? What? You want to hit a goal of 4,000 subscribers by Christmas? Okay, Pippin. Anything for you. <laughs> Woo!